I'm really sorry that my glasses have the ring light thing, but I think they look really cute on me right now. So I'm gonna keep them on. I usually hate them. So you know what? We're gonna keep them on. I'm sorry you could see that little light, but you know what? We're gonna do it anyways. I'm wearing my really comfy Rep and Green Bay Packers uh, outfit. This is my first thrift haul of 2021. I did basically, I feel like almost every month, I did like January, February, I did thrift hauls. Um, and I'm gonna do it again. I love doing that kind of stuff. If you guys wanna see any of these items and buy them off me, they're on my Depop, they're on my eBay, all the links are gonna be affiliated down below. But um, let's show you what I got today. I'm really, really excited to show you. And if you guys want to see clips from today too, you can check out my second channel, Gabby Vlogs. Uh, I vlogged my whole day. I'm also keeping my glasses on because I've had a wild headache for days and um, I feel like maybe it's shielding more of the light from my eyes. I'm just going to keep thinking that in my head. I'm going to show you the best find of the day first because we went to two different places. Because when we were checking out, there's like a crap ton of people behind us. And like the whole time we were shopping, like Doug doesn't really catch the drift when I'm in there. I grab stuff and if I don't want to keep it, I'll put it back. But I grab it so nobody else has it in their buggy and then I can't even get to it if I wanted to. So I'm like, he has a little push thing. So I'm like throwing a bunch of stuff in it at the second place. And people just kept like, this guy's like, hello. And like keeps going in front of me. I'm like, what the fuck? It was really annoying. Uh, so when we got up to the register... The lady said she just put the price tag on this to put it out, and I was like, um, I'm taking it home. Somebody in the back is going off. Anyways, this is the McDonald's Presents Teeny Beanie Babies 2000. This is a massive, 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 I can't even put it in the whole frame, book that you open up. There's paperwork on the inside from where it came from, and these are all the Beanie Babies that came out that summer in the box i'm going to be selling this because it's awesome i think somebody could really put this in a collection it would be really freaking great they're all in great condition it's just it, it's dope it's a dope piece and if it doesn't sell we're going to keep it but i really would love to give this to somebody who collects ty because i don't collect a lot of ty's i'm going to have some but like it's not like a major thing i collect but i think this is so freaking cool so i'm going to put that aside the box is really cute, so it's so like vintagey. It's from 2000 to McDonald's Corporation. And we need to get to this thing that's making noise in the bag because it's freaking annoying me. Oh, this is on top though. Whatever, let me grab him. This is a For Real Friends dinosaur. When I went into the second store, I saw it in front of me and I ran. I ran to him. How do you, I don't know how to make it get triggered to go. How do you work? I don't know where his sensors are, but here he is. I'm going to be selling him on my eBay. There he goes. So funny. For real friend dinosaur. I had a panda too, but it was dirty. How do you go off? Can you please shut up now, actually? Okay, he's off. He was really loud before our video was even getting into it yet. Okay. Is that definitely everything I got? No, I put something in my purse too. Wait, I think I did forget stuff in the car. Because I went to two different thrift stores. And I'm trying to remember what I got at the first one. I didn't really buy a lot at the first one. Oh no, I do have that. Oh yeah, I bought jewelry at the second, or at the first one, oh my god. But it's in my purse, so I'll get that for the end of the video. But here he is, I turned his little butt off because he was really loud. This I found at the second place. This is so cool, and I think I'm keeping it for myself because I'm kind of obsessed. I have to get this off, so comment what you would use to get that off. It looks like it's mostly crayon. Let's hope. So I'm going to try to get that off. And then it's feet for uh, bullseye, say Andy, on them. And it's just so freaking cute. And he also sounds like he is galloping. So I was going to sell him. He's a rare item, apparently. Uh, but I kind of really want him. I've been getting into collecting some of the Toy Story stuff. So yeah, we're going to keep him. 
This I don't know why I bought because it's adorable. It's a very vintagey stuffed animal. I don't even know what I paid for it. Ooh, two bucks. That's okay. Let me rip that off and see what brand he is and stuff. I got him because he was in good condition and I don't know. I don't want to leave him behind. Yeah, nothing really crazy about it marked on him. I'm not seeing a year, which is kind of crappy. So he doesn't have a year on him, but it's just this lion. His hair is really good on him. He's very cute. So I got this because I thought he would be fun to put up. This I need to clean up in a little bit. He has a dirty mark on him and he's kind of, I don't know, he's kind of a little, he's looking rough. This is the mouse from Chuck E. Cheese. And since Chuck E. Cheese is now closed, I was like, I'm going to sell him, see if anybody wants this little mouse. This cup I grabbed and I want to try to get the price off the top of it. But if I can't, mm, actually I might be able to. I know they say you're supposed to take a uh, thing to it, but you know what? I hope it's not double marked. Okay, it's not. I got it off the best way I could. It is a Pocahontas cup. And I didn't really get to do too much research on it when I was in the place since Doug was with me. I did on some items that I did pick up, which I'm glad I didn't buy because I looked them up and I'm like, yeah. No, I don't need this. Oh, I did forget stuff in the car. I just realized that. Oh my God. I'm going to have to do a part two. Probably sorry, I'm picking off a piece of dirt on the dinosaur's head. It's like very velvety. I kind of love that. That's cute. Anyways, I did forget a bag in the car. So I'm going to add it to this video tomorrow and get it out. I might run out tonight, but I think it's freezing rain right now. But don't hold me to it. But I have a bag I can grab. Um, but this is the Disney Pocahontas cup it still has the box and everything and we have the governor um and perry his dog <laughs> the governor and perry cup so i got that to resell i ran out to the car in the freezing rain for this so i don't know how i forgot this but not everything else it is a jurassic world uh it's still attached to the shell little dinosaur i think it like rolls up all the way into the shell so I grabbed him. I thought that was fun. At the first thrift store, there wasn't a lot there. I'm like catching my breath. I almost slipped on the ice. It was like freezing over. Anyways, yeah, we got this little dinosaur plush for my shop. Uh, this is for myself. I always find like weird finds. So I'm obsessed with oop, pumpkins. Oh my God, they fell. I'm obsessed with pumpkins. So I got these little pumpkin earrings for like, 99 cents and then I like a dollar something and then this pin I got it's somebody's children in it I don't know what year this is from but it's a pretty old photo so I got that too because I collect vintage like baby pictures and stuff of like people because they're missing and they're cool so they come home with me they have a home okay let's do this four dollar bag because i don't even know if this is four dollars there's certain things i was going for in it oh my god this is clean oh it is this is nice this is a little plastic see-through kids crayola backpack very fun i got that to resell uh this i got to resell and i was selling a bunch of these on a lot but I am going to take them out of the lot and just sell them separately. And this one's really cute and it's in good condition. It is the shiny yellow pink dog. I got that. What else was in here? Oh, this is a webkin. I hate, I don't know if you guys saw, side note, but they're like changing webkins and how like the website looks apparently. I didn't look, I saw it like on Facebook or something. People are like complaining about it. But this is the pug webkin. He's in good condition. He has a couple loose strings that I just have cut on him, but I had this one too growing up. There's the pug. So I got him from my shop. He's in good condition. How is this guy? He's really soft, actually. I'm like expecting him to be dirty, but he's not that dirty. He's pretty stinking cute. Oh my god. This is a TY. He is from 2002. He's really, really soft and cute. I'm not going to lie. This is really adorable. 
I have some TY the TY locks right now, but I'm probably just gonna put him up by himself. <gasps> no, he has a hole in him. He has a hole in the top of him. No. He only really just needs like a little stitch. I don't even know where my sewing needle is. I don't even want to find my sewing needle and just give him the little stitch that he deserves right there. I mean, I could sell him like that and just be like, he has a little hole in him. That makes me so sad. He's so cute. I have to figure what out I'm going to do with him out now. This Doug was like, we need him. And then I brought it home and he has a freaking stain on his disgusting ass banana butt. Curious George. So he's going back in the trash. <laughs> because I don't want that. He has a stain on his butt. So that's going to be in the trash. We did that. Um, who are we missing? Oh, I know what we're missing. Let me this bag. I got this. I thought it was really cute. It still has the tag on it. And it just says bride. I thought that was really fun since I'm going to be a bride. And this I was really disappointed in. <laughs> this is just a lot of parts that I'm going to end up selling. But I thought this was what was going to be in the box when I got this at the first thrift store. There wasn't a lot, so I was like, I'm going to grab that because that's pretty cool. And Calico stuff goes pretty well on eBay. But it ended up it just being a box of doll parts. Like, it seems like it's basically split up by... Yeah, there's some, like, really weird stuff in here. Like, it's weird. Calico critter stuff. Like, if you ever find it at, like, a Goodwill, it's really, I don't know if you, my camera's gonna pick it up, but it's textured weird. Like, it it looks weird, it feels textured weird. It doesn't feel like, like regular plastic like this. Like, that's weird, too, that they just gave me somebody's rear view mirror. Okay. Now, this is My Little Pony, because it says My Little Pony on it. 2006. Oh, it's pretty old. My Little Pony delivery cart. That's fun. Uh, I, this is Calico. Again, because of, now you can kind of, it's picking it up on the bigger pieces. Do you see it? Like, it's just a different type of plastic. It's like shiny-ish. So I'm going to sell the calico. This was from like some kind of headbands game. There's somebody some hair in it. The game must get real, real quick. I'm going to put that in the first last Curious George bag. This is some kind of blanket, which would probably be some kind of like accessories. So I'm going to put that aside. I'm just gonna show you some of the stuff in here, not everything. Like this is a Shopkins item. Oh wait, I think I have the wheels in here for this actually. I think I remember when I opened this, I saw wheels in it. Anyways, this is like Shopkins, so I would sell that separately. It's like a doll outfit in here. So it came with like a lot of random stuff, a lot of calico, like I said, which was nice because I put that together as a Shopkins. So if anybody has like interest or collects those things or wants some little accessories, hit me up because I'm gonna have a lot of them. Calico, um, I don't know, pieces like this, like this looks like it would be like a stable. So I'm gonna put that with the My Little Pony stuff. I hope this isn't boring. You can click off this is boring to you at the end here. These chairs are really cute. Um, this looks like Calico too. And again, it's just from feeling it, the material that they use. Okay, still moving along with this. This, I wish I knew what it was from because there's absolutely no markings on it. I don't even think I could open it if I want to. So it's like a slice of birthday cake, it looks like, a plastic piece. Like stuff like that, like I don't even know what it goes to. Like rear view mirror, I'm gonna just put, I guess, aside and add it to like lots of stuff probably. Like this might just go as like an accessory sort of thing because look at this, this is really cute. Some kind of like dog bathing thing look at i have a little dog i can include so i do like putting sets together like that if you guys are ever looking for like little items like that i do a lot of that on my ebay because and depop i just like putting stuff together that people could reuse if they want like this is really cute this looks like it's definitely just got that my little pony so i'm gonna put that with it because of the apple you know and the orange it just seems like it would be appropriate for that but there's just basically like a whole box of little odds and ends in here that I got that I'm just going to end up reselling. So, um, I hope you guys liked my first thrift haul. I actually found a lot more cooler stuff than I thought. I usually don't find boxes of just like toys like this mixed together. So that was actually really kind of cool. Here's more Calco Critter chairs. So 
If you guys like uh, the thrift videos, please thumbs it up since this is the first one of the year. This desk is really cute. The drawers come out. I'm just so happy that like the drawers came with it too. I was like, yes. Uh, I'm gonna have a really big calico critter furniture lot going up. This is really fun. I think this is, see when stuff doesn't have like any marking at all, I'm like, what is this from? Like it's just a little baby scoopy, baby scoopy. I don't even know, like a baby carrier holder. Civilians family, this is really fun. It's a grand piano. Anyways, uh, I don't wanna like bore you guys. Uh, if you guys like this, please thumbs it up and I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.